there's great news if you're interested in a career in desktop support. You have the ability to obtain certifications, and these certifications would allow you to prove to a potential employer that you know your stuff when it comes to troubleshooting desktops. In this nugget, you and I are going to examine some of these popular certifications. So by the time you're done with this nugget, you are going to understand some of the options that exist from a certification and exam perspective. And guess what? There is a wide variety of them that are available to you, which is great because you can really tailor your education for exactly what you need in that potential job or even your existing job. So I'd like you to meet Tony and Tanya. Tony is he's super interested in information technology. He knows he loves it. He's just graduated from high school and he is just super excited to jumpstart his career in the world of IT. He doesn't really have any formal training or knowledge on IT subjects though. He just has taken apart his personal computer, rebuilt it. He's upgraded memory in his personal computer. He's downloaded applications and he knows he loves operating system and application support, but no formal training at all. Tanya, on the other hand, has completed a college-based certification program, and it's on information technology, and she's very well versed in a lot of intense study, but one of the things that Tanya is looking to do is get a job in a company that is Linux-based, so she wants to really be able to prove her skills in the area of Linux. Let's take a look at the different certifications and exams that might apply to these these two individuals. Tony has decided to begin his journey with CompTIA's A plus certification. This is going to be two exams and two courses that he will take in order to achieve his A+. It's really going to provide him with a great education and give him the ability to prove his knowledge regarding the hardware and software that we would find in desktop systems today. He loves Windows, so following that a certification, Tony's going to move on to really specialize in Microsoft Windows operating systems. So he's going to take a certification from Microsoft called the MTA certification, and he's going to specialize in those Windows operating systems. To wrap up his journey for now in certification and exams, Tony is going to take a look at the many options for Windows 10 training and certification. He'll probably start with the using Windows 10 course, then move on to the Windows 10 power user, and then he'll attack some Microsoft official courses that have exams and certifications tied to them for the wonderful world of Windows 10. Now, it's interesting for Tanya because she really does possess the knowledge already that is contained in the a certification. So Tanya is going to be jumping right in to Linux specific certifications and exams. She's decided that she's going to start with Linux essentials and then move on from there when it comes to her mastery of everything Linux. As I hope you've noticed from this nugget, there are many, many options that exist when it comes to professional certifications and exams. This is great news for us as IT professionals because we can really track our education and our certification acquisition to exactly those skill sets that we want, that our employer might need, and that can further our career. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.